Da -dun 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 Show Twirl. Welcome to Show Twirl Gamers. Josh here. And as this week draws to a close, I wanted to take a moment to look at this week's biggest news stories, some gaming announcements, and this week's new video game releases. If this is your first time on the channel, do me a huge favor and make sure you hit that subscribe button to join in on the fun. Alright gamers, let's kick off this week in review with a few news stories. And we're going to start off with Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I'm still having just a ton of fun playing the game. Every chance I get, I keep going back to try and find all the things I've missed. The speedrunning community have also been having a blast playing the game. With the world record for the game being broken, it seems like hourly it feels like. It is well below the sub two hour mark with new tricks and shortcuts still being discovered. Now Xbox is moving to block the use of certain devices on Xbox systems with mixed reactions from fans. In an update, as an attempt to block unauthorized accessories from being able to be used on Xbox Series systems, namely third-party controllers, many in the gaming community took to social media this week to voice their disapproval, especially those in the fighting game community where most high-end arcade stick controllers will not be compatible. The policy will not go in effect until November 17th, but you will get a warning if you are using an unauthorized device now, so you can go ahead and plug it in and check to see if you will have issues after that date. Now PlayStation made some major cuts at Bungie, which they purchased back in July of 2022. The many employees being let go and word coming out that they also delayed Bungie projects, including the upcoming Destiny 2 expansion, The Final Shape, till June of 2024 and also the brand new title Marathon has now been pushed into 2025 according to sources via Bloomberg. Also in a story that has a lot of people speculating and clamoring for any kind of hint from the company Capcom claims that they still have a big major unannounced game coming next year before March 2024 projected to be a multi-million copy seller. Unfortunately, as of right now, that is pretty much all the information they have divulged. My expectations would be the next big Monster Hunter game, and I would expect to see something at the Game Awards in December, but let me know in the comments what you think it might be, or might hope that it turns out to be. Next up, let's take a look at some gaming announcements. Now, in a huge surprise announcements trailer this week, we actually got a new 3D Sonic game that is going to release in just over a month on December 5th. Now, unfortunately, the excitement kind of starts to fizzle from there, as the title is going to be an Apple Arcade exclusive. The game is a smaller title, not on the level of games like Sonic Frontiers or the recently released really good Sonic Superstars game that the sales haven't been that great on that game, and I definitely suggest giving that game a try. The game looks to play more like kind of the classic older style of past 3D Sonic games, and it does let you play as multiple different characters. So, if you have Apple Arcade, you can give this game a shot on December 5th. A place that now, Ark Knight Infield received an impressive looking teaser trailer showing off what looks like a pretty involved and interesting story that will guide you as you play through this real-time 3D role-playing game with some strategy RPG elements mixed in. From what I understand, the game started off as a mobile game and has been very popular, and it's now getting a PC version. So far, there is no news on a console version, but the game looks promising, so if the PC version lives up to the hype, I expect a console edition won't be far behind. Speaking of which, how should I address... Alright gamers, let's finish up with this week's new video game releases. Now, WarioWare Move It is the latest game, game in the lightning-fast micro-game game. party-style franchise starring Mario's childhood Four rival, Wario. This newest and iteration of the game it. will challenge you to get off the couch, grab Move a pair of Joy-Con controllers, and get moving as you gently shake, you do, punch, dance, move, wiggle, and even curtsy game. through over React 200 lightning-fast micro-games, either solo or multiplayer exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. Play with a friend. Also, Robocop Rogue City released this week on the PlayStation 5, PC, 
PC and Xbox Series systems. And it promises to deliver all of the over-the-top 80s movie-style hyper-violent gory action fans of the movie franchise would expect from a game based on the franchise. The game is a first-person shooter game featuring an original storyline based on the Robocop films with Peter Weller reprising his role as the main character and takes place in Old Detroit. Now Star Ocean, the second story R released this week on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. The game is taking advantage of a really cool looking graphic style that combines beautiful 3D graphics with nostalgic 2D pixel characters, giving us a stunning 2.5D style that fits perfect into this classic sci-fi RPG franchise. Now Headbangers Rhythm Royale is a rhythm based party game influenced by the Fall Guys survival formula with a quick four round elimination format that whittles a field of 30 pigeon players down from 20, then 10, then five, before the last players duke it out in a final frame. Only, instead of being a physics-based battle or racing game, this is a rhythm-based game where you will be competing to claim the title of Master Headbanger. The game released this week on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series systems, and it was a day one release on Game Pass. Now Jusant, or Jusant, not sure how you say that, but the, it is a platforming puzzle action adventure climbing game where you take control of a lone wanderer as they climb a desolate tower filled with the artifacts of a long lost civilization. I've been hearing good things from those who have gotten to try early versions of the game and it released this week on the PlayStation 5, PC, and Xbox Series systems including Game Pass. I have played a little bit of the game so far and I'm really enjoying it. I definitely suggest giving this game a shot. Alright gamers, that concludes this weekend review for the week ending on November the 3rd. The week started with rumors that Insomniac may be considering a standalone Venom game. Then we celebrated Halloween and this fatality we are looking at here was added to Mortal Kombat 1 with the crazy price of almost $10, angering gamers and I'm with you. This definitely should have been a cool free Halloween surprise and the week ended with me growing another year older and while the year I was born was the same year the Atari 2600 was released, strangely 46 years later, just two weeks from today, this thing we're looking at here is releasing and it's apparently still going to play all those old cartridges I have laying around. And that's just crazy. But let me know anything we may have missed in the comments and thanks for joining us today gamers. Good world out.